The Life and Career of Maggie Smith Maggie Smith is a British actress best known for her Academy Award-winning performance in The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, as well as her role in the Harry Potter series and Downton Abbey. Dame Maggie Smith has led a distinguished, varied career on stage, in film, and in television over the past six decades. Her achievements range from starring as Desdemona in Othello, opposite Laurence Olivier, to winning an Academy Award for her performance in The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, to memorable roles in the acclaimed television series Downton Abbey and the popular Harry Potter films. In the 1960s, Smith was active in the National Theater of Great Britain. She played Desdemona to Laurence Olivier's Othello in 1964. The two of them reprised their roles in a film version of Othello the following year. While at the National Theater, she acted in classic dramas by major authors such as Henrik Isbin and Anton Chekhov. Smith was made a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1990. In January 1988, Smith was diagnosed with Graves' disease for which she underwent radiotherapy and optical surgery. In 2008, Smith was diagnosed with breast cancer and underwent intensive treatment that included chemotherapy sessions which coincided with the filming schedule for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. In 2019, she was reported to have made a full recovery. Margaret Natalie Smith was born in Ilford, Essex on December 28, 1934. Her mother, Margaret Hutton, was a Scottish secretary from Glasgow, and father, Nathaniel Smith, was a public health pathologist from Newcastle upon Tyne who worked at the University of Oxford. During her childhood, Smith's parents told her the romantic story of how they had met on the train from Glasgow to London via Newcastle. She moved with her family to Oxford when she was four years old. Smith attended Oxford High School until age 16 when she left to study acting at the Oxford Playhouse. After graduating from high school, Smith attended the Oxford Playhouse School from 1951 to 1953. She made her professional stage debut in 1952 playing viola in an Oxford University Dramatic Society production of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. After a brief detour to New York's Broadway, where she performed in the comedy review New Faces, of 1956, Smith also began to act in film. Her first role was a short, uncredited appearance in Child in the House in 1956, followed by a larger part in the crime drama Nowhere to Go in 1959. Smith has received two Academy Awards. She received the first for Best Actress in 1969 for her portrayal of an idealistic, unorthodox school teacher in the prime of Miss Jean Brody. She won the second for Best Supporting Actress in 1978 in honor of her performance in Neil Simon's California Suite. She has also received British Academy of Film Awards for her work, including for her roles in The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, 1984's A Private Function, 1985's A Room with a View, and 1987's The Lonely Passion of Judith Hearn. Additionally, she has received several accolades for her stage performances, including a Variety Club Award for her performance in Noelle Coward's Private Lives in 1972 and a Tony Award for La Tisse and Lavage in 1990. Throughout the 1990s, Smith acted in a diverse range of projects from the 1993 comedy Sister Act II, Back in the Habit with Whoopi Goldberg, to the 1997 literary adaptation Washington Square, and the 1999 ensemble drama Tea with Mussolini. Her appearance as a snobbish aristocrat in Robert Altman's Gosford Park received especially positive notice. Smith captured the attention of a new generation when she played the strict witchcraft teacher Minerva McGonagall in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The movie was a huge hit and Smith reprised the role for six of the seven Harry Potter sequels. Since 2010, Smith has been acclaimed for her performance as the grandly irrepressible Violet Crawley, Dowager Countess of Grantham, in the period drama Downton Abbey. She has received three Emmy Awards for the role in 2011, 2012, and 2016. The esteemed and busy actress also continued her prolific film career. In 2012, she joined the ensemble cast of the Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, and was featured in the Dustin Hoffman-directed quartet. 
In 2015, she returned for the second best exotic Marigold Hotel and starred in the comedy drama The Lady in the Van, for which she earned a Globe and Gold nomination. In 2018, Smith starred in a British documentary titled Nothing Like a Dame, directed by Roger Mitchell, focusing on the film documents conversations between actresses Smith, Judy Dench, Eileen Atkins, and Joan Ploutwright, which were interspersed with scenes from their careers on film and stage. The film was released in the United States as Tea with Dames. In 2019, Smith returned to the London stage for the first time in 12 years, starring in A German Life. The new play by Christopher Hampton was drawn from the life and testimony of Brunhilde Ponzel, in which Smith was alone on stage performing a 100-minute long monologue to the audience. Jonathan Kent took the directorial role. Her performance won her a record 6th Best Actress Evening Standard Award. In 2019, it was announced that Smith would be starring in a Netflix adaptation of the children's book A Boy Called Christmas. The film also stars Sally Hawkins, Kirsten Wigg, Jim Broadbent, and Toby Jones. In 2020, it was announced Smith would be starring in an Irish drama film, The Miracle Club, with Kathy Bates and Laura Linney. The film's plot is being described as a joyful and hilarious journey of a group of riotous working-class women from Dublin whose pilgrimage to Lourdes in France leads them to discover each other's friendship and their own personal miracles. In November 2020, Smith joined Sir Kenneth Brogan, Dame Judi Dench, Sir Derek Jacoby, and Sir Ian McKellen for conversation on Zoom titled, For One Night Only, for the charity acting for others. Branagh described the group as the greatest quartet of Shakespearean actors on the planet, and they talked about the highs and lows of their careers. It was announced that Smith would star in the film version of Christopher Hampton's A German Life. This is a role that she originated on stage in 2019 in London, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, couldn't play the role on Broadway. Smith has been married twice, her first marriage to actor Robert Stevens on June 29, 1967. They had two sons, actors Chris Larkin and Toby Stevens, and were divorced on April 6, 1975. Smith married playwright Beverly Cross on June 23, 1975, at the Guilford Register office, and they remained married until his death on March 20, 1998. When asked in 2013 if she was lonely, she replied, It seems a bit pointless going on one's own and not having someone to share it with. Smith has five grandchildren. In September 2011, Smith offered her support for raising the $4.6 million needed to help rebuild the Court Theatre in Christchurch, New Zealand, after the earthquake in 2011 that caused severe damage to the area. In July 2012, she became a patron of the International Glaucoma Association, hoping to support the organization and raise the profile of glaucoma. On November 27, 2012, she contributed a drawing of her own hand to the 2012 Celebrity Paw Auction to raise funds for cats protection. What do you think? Scroll down below to comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.